Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. And I want to say to you today that today is Christmas. Yeah, finally got here. <laughs> Maybe you want to say, oh boy, am I glad it's about over. But some of us are saying, hey, this is really nice. You know, Christmas is a special day. Yes, it's the first day of this week, and I'm going to talk this week about gifts that God gives us. But I wanted to start with this one, since it's special. Now, I don't expect many of you are listening to this on Christmas morning. I would assume you have other things to do. But I still want to wish you a great day. And if you're watching in the evening or the next day, I I want to say, I hope you had a great Christmas. But what is this gift that God gave to the world? Everybody, you, me, people next door, people around the other side of the globe, the people who hate him and the people who love him. What did God give to the world? Well, if you're a strong Christian or you've been to church a lot, or you've deviled in what God is, then you know the answer. And for some people, Christmas is really depressing. Either somebody recently died, as in the case of my family with my last aunt passing away the first week of December, or it's just a day because there's never been anybody around. I, I think of the homeless folks across this country, and uh, it's a little more personal this year than it has been in the past for issues in, in our family. But still, God gave this gift for everybody. And what is the gift? Well, you find it in the Gospel of John, chapter 3, and verses 16 and 17. And I'm going to read it. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Now, there's some important points here. You probably have heard them before. It starts out that God so loved the world. The motivation for this gift is nothing short of absolute love. Far greater love than you and I can ever exhibit or understand. I mean, we love our, our close relatives that are good to us. Those that aren't, we kind of ignore. At least some people do. We love those who are similar to us, who affirm our beliefs and our values. We love those we call our friends. But God loves those and the people we would call enemies. Maybe we don't use that word. Maybe it's the people we are least fond of. God loves the stranger the poor, the homeless, the rich, the successful, the failures. God loves the people of a Caucasian descent, and the people of an African or Asian descent. God loves those of us who have a lot of education and those who have none. He loved the world. Now, that's not surprising since he made it. You would think he would love what he made. But he loved it beyond just saying the words. It says, for God so loved the world, he gave. He gave a gift. And what was that gift? It says, his one and only son. Now, for those of you who have multiple sons, would you give up one of them for people that didn't like you? If you only have one son, would you do what God did and 
give it up for people who don't care about you? Would you give up your child for someone who curses you every chance they get? Well, I think the obvious answer is to that to that is no. I wouldn't do that. How could I do that? It's beyond my imagination to even think about doing that. But yet, it said God did. He gave his one and only son. Why did he do it? So everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. You know, Christmas is going to be over pretty soon for some of you. It didn't last too long to open the presents and, and eat a little bit, and then you're back to the ball games or life as you knew it or whatnot. But life itself really doesn't last very long. Now, I'm not here trying to pounce on you. I'm just stating the obvious. And God states the obvious. That he wants no one to perish. It goes on to say, God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Most of us are pretty good judges. Let's admit it. We see someone and we go, hmm, glad I'm not like that. Or we, we hear someone on the radio or the television and say, man, how could they say such things? I would never say anything like that. And then we might say something similar. And it does say that God will judge people in the end. But he didn't send Jesus to judge. He sent Jesus to love. That was the gift. To love you and me and everybody else. And he wants us to demonstrate that love and to reciprocate, reciprocate the love that we have received by giving it to others. All others. Every one. No exceptions. No excuses. All. And that's what Christmas is about. Celebrating the birth of this gift for all mankind. And I hope your Christmas celebration has included some time with God. If it didn't, okay, it's not too late. You can you can still jump in. God's not going to cut you off because you're a couple minutes or a couple hours late. God wants you and I to know him and to walk with him each and every day of our lives. And that's why we celebrate Christmas. I hope that was what you did or are doing. And as I said, I hope you either are having or have had a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for listening on this special day. Thank you for sharing some of your time. I know you don't have to do that. If there's a need or a concern we can help with, please let us know. And we'll do everything we can, as fast as we can, to help meet your need. I'll be back tomorrow with some more ideas, and I, I hope you'll be here to listen. So until then, be safe. Have a great day. I'll talk to you again.